So our today's topic of uh, uh, ENT or ear, nose, throat is the tumors of external ear. When we say external ear, we are basically talking about two very uh, important parts which constitute the external ear. We have the uh, pinna. This whole part is the pinna or auricle. So we have the pinna and then we have the external auditory canal. These are the two structures that compromise the uh, or, or they consist of the external ear. Pinna or auricle and the external auditory canal. So we will talk about tumors arising from both pinna or the external auditory canal. These are the tumors we can, you can see this is the pinna. We have in the pinna or the auricle this structure, major part is the uh, hallux of the auricle, this hallux. Then we have the lobule, this the lobule uh, where we always know this part, the lobule for the wearing of the earrings very commonly. So this is the lobule. Then we have the tragus. So hallux, lobule, tragus, and then from the uh, auricle, when we put the uh, finger or when we put the Q-tip in the, that's the whole cavity. This is known as the external auditory canal. And this external auditory canal ends at the tympanic membrane or the eardrum where the external ear ends. And then after that, there is the beginning of the middle ear. So this is the pinna. These are the tumors which are present on the pinna and then the tumors of the external auditory canal. External auditory canal in this diagram you cannot see very clearly but it's a long canal where it extends from the outer side and ends at the tympanic membrane. So these are the pinna and external auditory canal and we will discuss in detail today about the benign and malignant tumors of the pinna and the external auditory canal. Tumors can be benign tumors and tumors can be malignant tumors. If we see the benign tumor here, you can see are the tumors that are more localized they are not, uh, uh, they do not spread to the other parts of the body. They are less severe in intensity. And so the B9 tumors, if you see, it shows that they do not spread to the different parts of the body. So they don't have any distant metastasis, which is uh, the major difference between the benign and the malignant tumors. Malignant tumors, they metastasize to the different si sides of the body and they are more uh, serious, more dangerous and more damaging to the body. So benign, non-cancerous, non-malignant and they do not spread to the distant sites as compared to the malignant tumors here, if you see, they can spread to the dis different sides of the body. So major difference between benign and malignant, non-cancerous, uh, do not spread to the distant areas of the body, and in the malignant, they can spread to the different parts of the body. Very dangerous. Early diagnosis is important to for the prognosis of the cancer. If early detection is not possible or if we detect it late in the later stages, then it's already spread to the distant side and it can cause very serious damage. So benign and malignant. So since we are talking about the tumors of the external ear, so we will talk about the benign and malignant tumors of the pinna or the auricle and the external auditory canal. 
Next, what are the benign tumors of the pinna? First, we will talk about them. So, the two benign tumors of the pinna, we have one preauricular cyst or sinus. So, as you know, this outer portion, that's the auricle. Pre means before. Post means after. So preauricular sinus or the cyst is one type of benign tumor of the pinna. These uh, 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 auric these tumors we will talk later on. They are formed by the failure of the uh, fusion of the uh, tubercles tubercles uh, in the brachial arches that leads to the this small uh, pit like sinus or cyst is uh, left behind as a result of the failure of the closure that leads to the formation of pre auricular cyst so it's a very small pit like uh, uh, growth or b9 tumor then the second uh, benign tumor of the pinna is sebaceous cyst. As the name shows, it is associated with the sebaceous gland, which are the gland that produce the oil. So sebaceous cyst, dermoid cyst is another benign tumor of the pinna. We will talk about them later on as we move forward. What are these different benign tumors are and where they are formed. Then we have keloid, another uh, benign tumor, hemangioma. Oma is the term for the tumor. Always remember whenever we have word Oma, it means growth or the tumor. And Hemo is for the blood. So naturally this has something to do with the growth of the blood vessels or the, uh, since it's Hemangioma. Angio is for the blood vessels. So Hemangioma. Next is papilloma. That's also a benign tumor of the pinna. Papilloma or its wart-like growth, you can see. Then we have cutaneous horn. Cutaneous is the term for the skin. Horn is because it resembles the horn of the animal. Uh, uh, that's why it's known as the cutaneous horn because of the resemblance. Then we have keratocanthoma. Uh, kereto a canthomas. Those are also the uh, benign tumors of the um, pinna. Neurofibroma, that's the final one. So all these, we have preauricular cyst, sebaceous cyst, dermoid cyst, keloid, hemangioma, papilloma, cutaneous horn, keratoacanthoma, and neurofibroma. All these are the different benign tumors of the auricle or the pinna. Next, the list of some malignant tumors of the auricle or the pinna. We have squamous cell carcinoma, one of the commonest malignant tumor, very, very dangerous, spread rapidly. If early diagnosis is not done, it can be uh, very rapidly spreadable, but the good thing is it's not very common. So squamous cell carcinoma, and as the name shows, it arises from the squamous cell. Then we have basal cell, basal cell, cells at the base, basal layer or at the base and tumors can also develop from the basal cell. So basal cell carcinoma and the melanomas, car carcinomas or cancers that develop from the melanin, which is the uh, pigment that gives color to the skin. So all these are the malignant tumors that can develop in the auricle or pinna. So tumors can be benign, they can be malignant, I have the list of some B9 tumors, then we have a list of some malignant tumors, and now we will go one by one over these B9 and malignant tumors. Then a, a list of some 
tumors of the external ear so first before going into the detail of the b9 and malignant tumors of the pinna let's go over the tumors b9 and malignant of the tumor ex, uh, that involves the external ear so b9 tumors of the external auditory canal we have osteoma exostosis ceruminoma and sebaceous adenoma papilloma so these are the b9 tumors of the external auditory canal which is the uh, osteoma external auditory canal we have the bony part and then uh, we have the uh, uh, part which do not have the bone so bony part usually if the tumors develop in the, that bony part of the external auditory canal then they are uh, like osteomas osteo is the bone oma is the tumors we have, we have osteomas exostosis ceruminoma ceruminum is the term used for the wax which is produced by the ear so the tumors from those uh, cells or ceruminum producing cells is ceruminoma sebaceous adenoma again is associated with the sebaceous gland and then we have papilloma so all these are the b9 tumors of the external auditory canal then some malignant tumors of the external auditory canal like the pinna we have basal cell carcinoma adenocarcinoma malignant ceruminoma so you can see there is a difference between the malignant tumors and the b9 tumors of the pinna and the external auditory canal and in the, this we have malignant tumors which are basal cell carcinoma adenocarcinoma adeno is for the glands so carcinoma arising from the glands of the external auditory canal and then we have malignant ceruminoma so all these are the malignant tumors of the external auditory canal and again as we have in the pinna or auricle we have melanoma in the external auditory canal also